2 Timothy chapter 4 from verse 6, 2 Timothy chapter 4 from verse 6 For I am already being poured out like a drink offering and the time for my departure is near So this was a man who poured out his life to God He worked with God He allowed God to use him You know, He, he, he gave his all for God to use And then he continues to say I have fought the good fight I have finished the race I have kept the faith. Now, in order to fight the good fight, it's a fight of faith, right? This fight is not going to always be an easy fight. And that is why we, were, we, we do like what we were doing now. We were praying. You see, it is a rewarding life. Yes, it is very, very extremely rewarding. But there is something that we also need to do. We have to fight that good fight of faith. Sometimes you have to turn the other cheek, you know. Sometimes you have to bless your enemy. Sometimes you have to allow yourself to be the one to be taken under, you know. Be because you, what are you doing? You are fighting. The weapons of our warfare will never come out. But they are mighty through God for the pulling down of strongholds. This are, is, is the wisdom of God, which sometimes may seem foolish to us, you know. But it is always, like I said, it is wisdom. It will take you out of situations and, and all of that. Now when you are pouring yourself out also as a dream offering, the devil is not happy. Because the goal, like the goal for this ministry, when you are part of this ministry, you are committing yourself to that um, X2618, um, to open their eyes, to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, so that they may receive forgiveness of sin and the place among those who are sanctified by faith in Christ. That is the kind of the mission that, that the Lord gave to, to, to pastor. That as a ministry we are here to open the eyes of the blind and to turn people away from Satan to God. The devil is not happy when you are doing that. You see? So what we have to do, we have to keep this, we to stand in his way, to stand according to what God said, uh, according to your individual plan as, uh, as part of a church and everything. And we continue in this race. We continue in this fight. And how do we stand? We stand by the word. We stand through, through prayer. We stand by um, coming together as, as believers. Let me tell you also something. Nick. As much as God has a plan for your life, you can, you, 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 I don't know anybody who reached it alone. God said he will give you shepherds after his heart who will guide you according to knowledge and understanding. Now, how many times have you found yourself off? You know, how many times have you found yourself in error? And someone just said, no, come back. Or someone is sitting there praying for you. You see, that is why so much we have to honor even our leaders, our pastors. Because those are the people God has placed in your life in order to guide you. You want your path, you want to finish your race. And if you do not subject yourself to this to this structure of God, you will find yourself that side. And you will wonder, how did I get here? You know, standing before one day and you will be so confused, not knowing what happened or, you know, things like that. You see? And submitting yourself to a person is, yes, some people take it out of control. But it shows that you trust God. God, you say this, I'm going to trust you, so I'm going to do as you said. I'm going to submit. Trust me by doing that. There is no way that you will not get where you, where, where you are headed, you know, to that goal, to that destination. And then Paul also continues to, says, to say, um, I have finished the race. So it is a race. It is a long race, you see. And he has finished it and that is where we are all headed as we are part of that race we see things living our lives we see things being added to our lives god says i have a plan for you according to his plan you will see things in your life coming together you know 
these are things that you, you we need not be ignorant about otherwise you will you will you will be like the one that is shadow boxing you will be beating the air in your christian walk you must know where you are going god what have you planned for my life you know what is it that you have called me for and then he doesn't also leave us in the dark in how to, as how to come about it because he says he will cause you to will and to do according to his good pleasure so when you see yourself you are following christ you are asking god you are you know you are seeking god it can it can come in the form of desire also because you will want you will desire that which god wants for you you can like I always say like, that I have noticed that in time where I just set myself to 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 seek God, I'm like God, I don't want to ask for anything. Let's say it's now for because there was a time before I got my job, I was just at home. And then I'm like, God, I will seek you. I didn't want to ask for anything, but I just say I just want to seek you. I just want to seek you every day. I just want to be in the Lord's presence. And it was a fabulous time. I remember seven short weeks. Seven short, short, short weeks. You see, and but what did God do? He gave me a desire to serve Him. I'm not, and then I even started to be like, God, am I going off? God is like, He is just. I just have a draw to serve God, to you know, to to do what God wants to. Do. I'm like, but all I wanted to do was to serve Him. He will work in your life. Amen. And then he will also give you the power to to do it. But then it, it it takes staying in him. It takes remaining in him. And then he will give you that. And, and as we are going about, sometimes you think that your presence, even in the house of God, is insignificant. It is not, brethren, because that that is where he planted you in order to unfold your life to its full potential. Amen. And then he also said, and then I have kept the faith. If we check around the book of Timothy, there are many that have wandered from the faith. Maybe because of a lack of money, because of, you know, a lot of things. Sometimes you just want, you start to want many, many, many irrelevant things, you know. If you do not threat yourself now, and Melanie likes to say this one, always examine yourself to see whether you are still in the, in the faith, you know. If you do not constantly examine yourself, you will lose the faith. Because he says, guard this that has been deposited inside of you guard it with all your heart don't let anyone come and take it away from you and how do you guard it as a child of god that has received many teaching in this place that you know stay in the word you know and you will not lose direction you will not you will not lose focus you know always come around believers fill yourself with the fire from the lord you know do what you are being instructed to do. You know, this race is long. It is not every day that everyone in this place felt like coming. But then they said, no, we are committed to the house of God. We are committed to God. We are committed to the work of God. You know, don't despise it. Don't despise it. It is the wisdom of God. Where will you go if you leave God? You know, how are you going to sort yourself out? What are you going to do that you couldn't have already done? God knows your end. Amen. Amen. And then he says, Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appear or appearing. So there is a reward, brethren. Your labor towards God is never in vain. Sometimes in this life, sometimes in the life to come. But let us not look for reward for even in this life. Let us long to get that reward which comes from God. That one will blow your mind, you know. That one will blow your mind. Amen. Let us always keep in, 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 in step with, with God. I was thinking about how many people are, Pastor was saying that many people are calling, even crying, you know, regarding Maria's testimony. Oh, wow, you know, some people, like I was laughing at one, they said, oh, Pastor, send me the dress, you know. It could be that easy, but sometimes it is, it is because of your constant fighting. Even if you were to find yourself, let's say now something were to happen 
to, 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 to and take away that particular blessing. You will know how to repeat it. You know? It is best in that way. You will know how to repeat it and to and to and to to, to, to do that again. As you work out your salvation, seeking to please God, seeking to walk in the ways of God, seeking, you know, um what is pleasing unto God and all of that, He will cause you to 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 to, to reach the place where He has for you. Amen. Amen. Um, yes, so I don't really have much. I don't really have much, and I hope it was impactful. But what on the Indowaja is, is really this is a journey with God. As born again believers, we are in a race, you know, we are in a race, and let us take it very seriously. Commit, commit, commit under leadership. God knows better than yourself. How many, how, for how long do you just want to be running in a circle? You know? Your life will not move forward. When you come back after, let's say, one year, things are so, you know, you don't even know where to start anymore. But it's just because you kept going and coming. I put structures in place, not only me, but put structures in place into your life, man. To commit you don't have to want just get yourself there some people they do this for exercise ah they want to sleep but they just as long as they are there, even they are sleeping in there you know as long as they are there you will end up doing it you see so these are the it's, it's also a safeguard you will be protected and all of that yes and lastly I also just want to to, to share something which I am um, like Mehileni likes to say, check yourself if you are still in the faith. Yesterday I was thinking, not even concerning this thing, but I just started to write in from my heart. I'm like, am I still in the faith or not? I started, I'm like, let me write 10 points. I'm like, how is my love for God? That was number one. Number two was, how is my devotion and commitment towards God on a personal level? Not in the church, but on a personal level. Am I reading my Bible? Am I praying? You know, am I loving God? This me, I find so much strength in, in, in power in loving God. Just sitting there, you are not praying, you are not doing anything, but you, you are even just there crying and stuff like that. That one is a very powerful catalyst towards what God has for you. Catalyst, it means it, uh, it, it will speed up your, your process, you know, because. You are, you are basically with God, you know. Number three, am I living righteously? Have I opened myself up to sin? Sometimes it's small things towards your boss. Oh, did you do this? Ah, you know, you like, you end up saying things. And then I always check those things. Number four, do I devise evil schemes and try to figure out ways to deceive people? I'm just there. I know I'm. I'm late there, but in my mind, you know, what am I going to say? What am I, what am I, you know, I, I want, you know? You are devising evil schemes. You have to check your heart. Number five, am I empathetic and considerate towards people? Do I think, am I merciful towards people, you know? Do I feel sorry for them, you know, or am I, ah, you know, you don't have money, eh? it's fine, you can walk, you know, things like that. Number six, has the love of the things of this world taken over my heart? Number seven, do I harbor on unforgiveness or anger? Maybe longer than I have to. Maybe, maybe you now really felt angry. Am I dwelling on it and feeding on it the, the whole day or do I let it go? And then, how is my joy and my peace? Sometimes you are just very stressed. You have to check yourself. And then, um, am I complaining? How do I perceive things? Am I complaining too much? And how do I perceive things? Is, is, is that one of... Um, someone can say, can step on my foot by mistake. You know, if, if, if you now spoke out something, your reaction would be like, ah, I already checked you. I checked you, but the person didn't even... 
asked the person was when they didn't even see you but then your response is like yeah they go and they go tarangare you know things like that am i jumping to conclusions am i thinking evil towards others and then the last one am i quick to repent and restore my relationship with god amen with this i want to say god bless you i know it was short it's early you can go home